Hello everyone, welcome back to Eternus City, aka Pokemon Platinum, episode 11. That was a really weird intro. But last time we explored the underground with the Explorer Kit. I explored the old Chateau. Overall, no level ups, but I think it's time that. No, we had a new someone to our team. We also caught Gerald for our HMs. Uh, if you remember him from Diamond and Pearl, then well done. Honestly, I, I really just love Gerald. He's just such a nice guy. So, in this grass, we can catch some pretty cool Pokemon. <laughs> um, so this is Chingling, Psychic type, uh, Volts. Um, I've never actually used Chingling before. Um, never the best to me, but maybe it could have been a bit better if it was like, maybe Steel type or like, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know really. <laughs> Evolve sound like Chimchow. I always call him that. It's Chimeco, which sounds a lot better. I always used to call him Chimchow. There we go. Great ball there. So, what? Wow. Whilst looking for my team member, Ponytick got to level 24 once I learned Fire Spin. That's a special attack that will basically trap your Pokemon and keep hitting it over and over. If you've ever saw like Whirlpool, this kind of the fire type move with that. 15 power. I don't really know if I'm going to have it. Hmm. Could get rid of Ember, but... Hmm. I mean, Tower Whip we still use, so yeah. I think I'm going to have to pass on this one. Okay, so, finally, got a Meditite. <laughs> Honestly, I've been looking here a while. I was just, originally, I found like a female Meditite, and I'm like, you know what, it's a full form, it's a bit more manly than that. <laughs> okay, I might be a bit sexist now, but, um, yeah, and I ended up weakening it down, I'm like, you know what, let's just try and catch it anyways. And I keep killing it. Ponyta is a bit too good, so let's go into Precious this time. But this one's level 15. I think it's like the highest it can actually be here. Because I was training up here. Well, not really training up. I mean, Ponyta got up a level trying to learn Fire Spin like you just saw, but still. I mean, like... <laughs> Look, all the stuff I've seen was like 13 and 14, so Precious, please do not. Alright, you know, I just going for Detect. I'm just going to chuck a ball at it now. Uh, you know, it's an alright health, I guess. Let's get a bit of variety. It's getting a bit darker. Hmm. Let's go for a Heal Ball. Okay. Yeah, I want to cast my Pokemon different uh, sorts of uh, Pokeballs. I don't want to just use Pokeballs all the time. I might be a bit boring when my Pokemon come out to battle, but... Let's just go for a Dusk. And there we go! Gotcha! Meditite was caught! Meditate, the Meditate Pokemon. It always trains deep in mountains. It levitates when it heightens its spiritual power through meditation. So, I said in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl that if I were to do a Platinum uh, Let's Play, which I wanted to do, which I'll be doing now, like, you know, I'll walk through and everything. And so that's what I'm doing. Honestly, one of my favourite Pokemon. I really like Meditate, so, yeah. I was thinking of a nickname, and all of a sudden, this came to mind. It just about fits, but yeah. PowerPoint. Don't really know how I came up with it, but randomly, I was just like, you know, this sounds pretty good. So, yes. Now we have a part psychic type. This will help us 
quite a bit now going through the galactic building. I'm gonna go put PowerPoint up front. There you go. We have my top and Bidoof, but oh Gerald. Oh look, we've been spotted. But wait, it's Luca! Hello, it is me! Me! Ah, I've startled you, yes. I'm after all an officer of the international police. It's only natural that I'd be master of disguise. Like he's just right in front of me. And he's just like, oh no, that's Luca. It's just it's just that so. Incidentally, you're a first rate trainer. Of that, I'm very aware of therefore, I think you will be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. This building it has two stars, one of them a trap it must be. But the the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear how shall I say smart. There should be an easy way to tell the stairs apart. Alright then. I wanna just use a quick potion on uh, PowerPoint as we kind of weaken him dangerous. So, let's go. PowerPoint's gonna start off a little weak. Um uh, but you know, we can get there. Let's do this for PowerPoint's first battle. Let's do this. Show them the power. Da, da, da. A lot of the balls in here um, will actually just be regular balls. This is the first one you'll find here. I mean, look. PowerPoint looks really cool there. I think that's just me, but I like. I like Meditide. I mean, that's the only disadvantage, I guess, of having Bubble over Bubble Beam. It's both of them in double battles, but. There we go, quick claw activates those Zubats would have been quicker. Um, because it's Zubat. <laughs> um, so there we go, there's confusion. See him, the much this will do. There we go, PowerPoint. I want to say this now. The ability Metatai gets is so good. Overall, its stat for a physical attack is 60. And let's go over to it now. On the bottom screen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong place. Pure power. Boost the power of physical attacks. That doubles it. So our attack is 120. Just think about that for a second. <laughs> we are pretty a little OP right now. Oh, I guess. I guess we. Oh, I could do that. So I know we're Printflop and we we're kind of getting our speed as Pipflops. As Pipflops. Just a Pipflop, but. Yeah, it doesn't worry about a special attack, but a special attack is also 60, so honestly, very good. First battle, not bad. But the only thing is, we won't be able to use our psychic type moves on Stunky, as he's part dark. And uh, dark kind of resists psychic, so yeah, we kind of can't do much there. But we can go for Hidden Power, see what type that is. There'll be a random type, I'm not really too sure exactly how much... Oh no. So yeah, I'm not really too sure um, how Hidden Power works as much. It'll just be like a type. Um, I guess it's random. I don't really know, but Meditide came with it, so... Yeah, Confusion's nice. It doesn't learn any more special attacks while leveling up, which is a little bad. I mean, not a special attacks. It won't learn any more psychic type attacks while leveling up, so we're going to have to use TMs. But, you know, Confusion will be nice. I mean, we saw how much it's done to the Zubat, so... Not bad. We're now over 13, which is nice. I mean, look how much better opponents are on levels compared to Precious. <laughs> I bet Precious is a little salty. But, could have went for a flame wheel there, but I just randomly decided not to. It's like, why not? Why not? Come on, what else should we be doing by now? Thank you that. We have to. I feel like we get metal with. But, but, dear, you just a kid. So I'm going to be skipping through uh, some of these battles, but... So this trainer... A lot of these trainers aren't required, so I'm going to skip out on a lot of them. As PowerPoint is now fainted. But if you take a step, this galactic run will notice you, so... Yeah, watch out for that. <laughs> um... So yeah, these, like you said, these Team Galactic ones are pretty, pretty crappy. They're pretty useless, really. Um, I 
Actually, no, we don't want to go here just yet. As there's an item we can get. If we go this way. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. I'm pretty sure we could have went behind them, but. Why, well, thank you. We love it. When people come to us to donate their Pokemon. Uh, no, he's lying. Or she. I think that's a girl. Yeah. It's a female grunt. I mean, I'm just, I'm just having a guess. I mean, that's how all the grunts look. <laughs> they all look the same. You racist to good Team Galactic. So I was not proud. Cloud. What the hell is that? <laughs> Would not be cloud. Would not be a cloud. I mean, I, I don't know how Team Galactic works. But Krogunk. Four times weak to Psychic. Too bad the um, PowerPoint kind of fainted. Or whatever. Should go down to a uh, never mind. So yeah, if you got a psychic type attack, definitely use it on Krogan. Oh, this is most likely gonna take it down in one hit. Yeah. Take notes. <laughs> um, as as I actually that's what I need to be doing, as I thought a peck would take it there, but if not, stab, you know, same type attack bonus. I knew stab was same type attack bonus, but like then I was like Wait, I wonder what stab stands for. And then I was like, oh, it's time to have attack bonus. Jesus. Like, honestly, I said it's so stupid. I was like, what am I thinking? Am I drunk? Am I high? Am I high? After the glammy air stopped putting us to sleep, we get an X special. Was it worth it? We got a little bit of experience. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just go the right way. JK. <laughs> Uh, that's just kidding, by the way. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'm gonna heal up, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we're all ready. We're all healed up. Let's do this. Let's go. Take on the commander. Oh, yeah. Spoilers, but... <laughs> Welcome! Oh, wow. Um, we've got nerd... Or I'm gonna trust the team Galactic. I'm probably wrong, but uh, oh, maybe he doesn't battle us. Never mind. Oh wow, that was the right way. You know, I'll collect them afterwards. Since um, the team Galactic members will go once we're done with this. Uh, it's time. Eh? Uh, did you want something? I don't see me even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Fine. I, Jupiter, will deal with you. So, remember Commander Mars? Yeah. This is like her twin sister. Okay, that's not that at all, but... Starts off with her level 21 female Zubat. Because I'm not sexist. Anyways. With the ability in a focus, poison flying type Pokemon. With the moves, Giga Drain, Wing Attack, and Bite. So if you bring up a water type, watch out for Giga Drain. Don't ask how it has it. it. Must be some egg move. Wow. PowerPoint. What are you doing? First. What was I thinking? Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to get this confused and then try and like two shot it. But all right, just get obliterated by opponents. Ask. That's really what you are asking for. Sure. Sure. There you go. Oh. Wow. Had to survive, didn't you? You just had to? Okay, so then take a bite of this, child. Uh, now have, have a bite of the stomp. Bite of pony to foot. Jokes. Roasted. Okay. So. Oh, wait, I didn't really think this through, did I? <laughs> um. Oh, let's go into Precious. Precious, Precious. Let's go, Precious. Come and Jupiter, send us a tank. Let's uh, do this. So, her ace Pokemon, she's a bit like Mars, having only two, but yeah. Skun Tank, level 23. Poison Dark type Pokemon, so yeah, watch out for Psychic type moves um, on it, as it won't really do much. Stench, you don't have to worry about that ability. It just, you know, just helps it from running into wild Pokemon when it's in the party but 
Um, with a health item of a citrus berry, with the moves Night Slash, Poison Gas, Screech, and Smoke Screen. I've lost to this thing in the past. I'm joking. Like, probably a few months ago. Probably the most recent time I've actually lost. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Screech will lower your defense by two stages. Smoke Screen will lower your accuracy. So you're less likely to go hit it. Poison Gas will poison you. A Night Slash, Dark Time Move, with a chance, a high chance of getting critical hits. This thing is a monster. You're not gonna like this thing. You're gonna be glad when you defeat it. You're gonna be like, yes, in your face, Jupiter. But, alright. That's in 27. This. Let's hope. Let's hope. Oh yes, quick claw. Not bad, not bad, precious. Not bad, not bad. I think we're actually quicker, but it's three levels higher. Yeah, it's weird because Skunk Tank can actually learn Flamethrower. Um, yeah, Skunk, but it doesn't. It doesn't end yet, folks. It also can learn Explosion. I think they've just done that for the jokes, you know. Like, they're like, you know, what? Skunk's like to make a mess by farting. Let's just make it explode! When you're in a Wi-Fi battle and you just see a skunk attack explode. It's kind of gross when you think about it, but it's really funny. <laughs> it's just like, help me! <laughs> but, yeah. This is just some child. Being parents cast me to me. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of a mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of the Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Kaferi back. It's all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic, they said Kaferi came from space. Hand it over. The logic baffles me still. It's that they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now. But cruise by my cycle shop, okay? So, if you watched the two episodes ago, we kind of went to the cycle shop and it was kind of closed. So, yeah, he's finally back, which is great. Uh, the upgrade story I was on about before, I thought it was in Valley Windworks, I don't know why. But, my friends would always have that. And I wanted it as well. And... Basily, I don't know what exactly what it was, it was years ago, but I think they said that he gave him double XP. <laughs> I don't get it, but no, now I know, if you give it to Porygon and then trade it, it'll evolve into Porygon too. So, yeah, don't believe your kids. <laughs> don't believe your kids. Don't believe your friends. Uh, wait, I don't, I don't really know where I was going with that, but yeah, I think it's time to get a bicycle. But before we do that, there's this cut tree. We gotta cut it down. Because what else do you do to trees? Not like tree huggers. So, come down here. With the TM46 deep, a dark time move. Well, I think it does damage only if it's a held item. Um, but I may be wrong. Uh, no, I think it does damage, but it does double the damage if the user has a health. The four has a a health item. But oh, look who it is! Oh, I look for you. I got something nice. I want you to have this Pokemon name. Will you accept it? I sure will. That's wonderful. The Pokemon inside that egg is happy too. I'm sure of it. Keep that egg with you in your party of Pokemon. Pokemon will hatch from it while you are traveling. I would be happy to know that if I will help fill another page of your Pokedex. See you again. So, I'll go talk about the Pokemon that's inside that egg once it hatches. So, you know, once you've had enough steps, it'll hatch. And, you know, it'll be level 1. Not like previous games that you get it at level 5. But this isn't the end. I'll end off the episode now, but... If you watched the last episode, I went to the old chateau, but I didn't get Rotom. So if you guessed, yeah, I'm going to do that. 
There's not gonna be audio from me, as I'll probably be playing Mario Kart Wii with my brother at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, um, that might be audio. I don't know. But yeah, I will see you in just a bit. See you next time.